I am wealthy. I am fit. Yeah, right. In this show, I'm gonna share with you when and why affirmations don't work and can actually do more damage and harm you. Why? Because if you say, I'm fit, healthy, sexy, and your self-image doesn't match what you hear, resistance comes back to you. That, yeah, right, creating more resistance to what you really do want, keeping you stuck in what you don't want. When you use them for maximum results and have several options on how to use affirmations from a proper and effective way, that's what I'm gonna show you here. We're gonna talk about quantum physics and why that's important. We're also gonna talk about what to do to make affirmations work as the tool that they're best used for to create or shift your day-to-day -day reality. I'm gonna give you some guidelines for effective affirmations and how to actually use them. And I'm gonna give you the three stages of being, which is lack, sufficiency, and abundance. Well, first, why would you even wanna use an affirmation? What are affirmations? Affirmations offer a powerful way to create changes in your life. Affirmations are positive statements that help focus your awareness on your power and your ability to create what you want. They're stated in the present tense, such as I have or I am unlimited abundance. Your thoughts and feelings create your reality. And as you say these positive statements to yourself, you can begin to create them as true. They're a tool. Affirmations are a tool. They're not an end all be all but a very useful tool. Well, a tool for what? A tool to get you off of a negative thinking process and spiral and get you into positive thinking. You see a thought, thought over and over and over, becomes a belief. And then you see evidence of your belief. And the belief, you go, oh, see, that's true. The belief then gets solidified. So affirmations work as a deliberate injection of a new thought said repeatedly with conviction and feeling, so you create a new positive emotion and then a new state of being which feels good. And by law of attraction, you then draw to you, right? Resonate and vibrate with all the things that are positive and pleasing to you. So affirmations help shift our focus. Affirmations offer a powerful way to create changes in your life by shifting your focus. And then with the law of attraction, what you focus on gets created. This is not just in your mind and saying the affirmation, I am abundant, right? It's, you could say, I'm abundant, I'm wealthy, I'm fit, right? It doesn't do anything. Said with feeling, I am abundant. Now you're shifting energy. And if you're already feeling lower level emotions, saying an affirmation over and over, it's just not gonna cut it. There's gunk in there, right? There's resistance. Well, as I said, there are three stages of being. Lack, let's do this, lack, which never feels good. This is where all the lower level thoughts and emotions come from. We have next sufficiency or satisfaction. This is where you feel calm, compassion, you feel neutrality, you don't feel bad. You're not over the moon excited like you are in the third stage or in the third aspect of being, but you, you don't feel bad, you feel good. The third, abundance. Now this is where it's at. This is where all the higher vibrations and emotions such as joy and fun and success and freedom, prosperity, this is the life-giving area. When we're in lack, and we have a thought that we're thinking or a belief or a perspective that we're focusing on that doesn't feel good, that's when affirmations are a great tool to shift your focus into the second bucket. For example, if you're thinking, nothing ever works out for me, shifting into a thought that's neutral or compassionate such as, I know in the past not all things worked out for me but I am choosing to feel good. And that then becomes your new affirmation. I am choosing to feel good. I'm choosing to feel good no matter what. 
Or if that feels like it's too much of a jump from thinking a negative thought or feeling bad, saying something like, oh, everything's okay. It's all, it is what it is. All is well. This allows you to get out of the negative bucket and into the bucket of not feeling bad. You're feeling okay now. As you find that vibration, then you can shift another affirmation into another vibration on, I focus on my good or I deserve to feel good. So you're inching your way up with different thoughts, different affirmations. For someone that might feel like it's too much. And then if so, I don't believe or accept that that's true. Well, so for example, if you tell yourself, I am wealth, you might hear, yeah, right, where? Where is my wealth? That's why affirmations don't work and why they can cause even more damage, more resistance, more stress. And it doesn't matter what it is. Years ago, I saw a post from one of my colleague that, colleagues that said, I am a billionaire and tell everybody repeat this as an affirmation. Now, I am a millionaire and I have been for over a decade. But when I read that, I was like, no way, liar. I didn't resonate with that because it's not my truth. It seemed like it was way too far of a jump for me. But when I first started working with affirmations, I would say, I am wealthy. I am a millionaire. And even though it wasn't true back then, it became true with positive, affirmative words and thoughts. Saying a positive affirmation is way better than keeping negative thoughts and beliefs running in the background. And yet, like going to the gym and picking up weights, you don't just pick up one weight and do it one rep to think that you're going to get the change and the results you want. So understand this is a tool and a very powerful one when done over and over, said in the positive way, I am statements with feeling and conviction. Because you know what? Real change and growth requires consistency enough to shift the vibration and the momentum of the energy. Some things have been moving within you with momentum for decades. Fears, worries, doubts, patterns, bushwhacks. Those blocks will require deeper work to shift the energy. Affirmations are a good start. They're not the end all be all for deeper change and transformation. Client said to me one time, I have a hard time with the affirmation, I love and approve of myself. So if a part of an affirmation doesn't feel right for you, adjust it for yourself. I asked her the difference between approve and accept. Can she accept herself? And she said, yes. She said she even appreciated aspects of her body that she was negative about. She appreciated her body and life and then she got into a space of approval, wanting even more, satisfied where she was and excited or looking forward to more or better. She also realized it was not all of her that felt she couldn't approve of herself. It was just parts. And it's taking those parts of the body, life, relationships, situations, and see what you can accept as true. And what would you like to have better or different? without judgment, without criticism, which one, which affirmation to use or how to create your own. So use affirmations that focus on what you want to create in your life. For example, if you're wanting to create less worry around money and more trust in your ability to attract and manage money, start creating affirmations around that and make sure it, number one, feels good to focus on and say, and number two, feels believable. Well, that might look like I now focus on positive feelings I have with money. Or you could go into, I love money and love, money loves me. Feel within yourself if you have resistance or even disbeliefs around any of those. Affirmations work when focused on what you want in your life and when you're open to expand your awareness of what you can have. It helps when you align with your soul's wisdom and helps you assist you in attuning with the unlimited abundance of the universe. This is the potential that affirmations have. So most affirmations start with I. I refers to all of who you are, your greater self, your higher self, your soul, your divine self, 
the part of you that is connected to the divine presence within, the one life, the deeper part of your being, as well as the ego and the personality self. As you think or say affirmations, you're calling upon the greater I within you to be present and to express itself, opening the doorways to experience a new higher reality. So saying, I am. Too often people say, I am, and then follow it with a negative statement. I am lazy. I am in debt. I'm lonely. It's important to catch yourself if you find yourself doing this and change what you say about yourself and your life to reflect a more positive reality. Every time you say, I am, you are evoking the divine self within you, calling upon the power of the universe to make it so. So if you can follow the statement, I am, with positive thoughts, you are invoking the power of the universe, the divine within you, to assist you in creating this as your new reality. As you say these affirmations, feel the reality and the power of the I within you to create the reality you desire. The words themselves don't have power. It's the meaning and the energy that gives them that power. Repeating them without a connection or without really moving energy, it doesn't create the reality you want. Affirmations don't work then. It's the energy of your greater self you are calling upon when you say these affirmations that it has the power to make these thoughts a reality. Imagine feeling the power, the love and wisdom of the innermost part of your being, your soul, your spirit. And as you say each affirmation, you feel expanded. So use these affirmations as a way to open the doorway to all the riches and the gifts and the consciousness of your true inner self that's waiting to give it to you. All you need to do is ask, affirm, and be open to receive. Let go of the specific form, the way, and even the timing of what you've asked for, and know that your true self will bring it to you exactly the way you wanted it at the perfect time and in the perfect way. So use these affirmations that feel only appropriate to you. It's important that the words feel comfortable to you and are aligned with you and who you are. Remember my client said, I don't feel comfortable with I love and approve of myself, but I love and accept myself. Now that feels good. So feel free to substitute other words that have a special meaning to you or that feel better. The power is increased when the statements are meaningful and feel comfortable. We also want to encourage you to make up your own affirmations. As you say the affirmation, feel it, sense it, picture it being true in your life. There are so many ways to use affirmations. Think of what you want to create in your life. What would you feel if you, it was already your reality? You already had that. You already have the person, the place, the money. Would you feel secure, safe, happy? That becomes your new affirmation. I am secure, safe, and happy. Say it out loud. Say it to yourself. Repeat it with feeling and conviction, like a song that plays in your head over and over and over. You ever get an earworm and it's like you got that song? Have that affirmation going through your heads and believe what you are saying. And if you don't, find a better feeling thought than the one you've been saying. You may want to print it out, write down your affirmations, say it to yourself, say it out loud, but do it with meaning and feeling as you do. As a matter of fact, let's just start a whole big chat. What are some affirmations? What's your favorite affirmation that you love to say? Do you have one? Are you looking for guidance in creating one? Let's start a chat conversation. Because repeating affirmations over and over alone as a mantra will not create them as real. The power of affirmations is in the livingness, the beingness to you. Let them evolve. As you say them, new affirmations may come to you. A deeper meaning may unfold. Those that you're drawn to initially may be changed and become more expanded. So we have several wonderful videos on YouTube that have affirmations created just for you, for you to repeat after each one. 
The affirmations are there to help you reprogram your subconscious for the quality and results you want to create in your life. You can listen to these affirmations anytime, including while driving, working around the house, gardening, whatever you want. Listening when your mind is in a relaxed, open state is a powerful and effective way to create lasting changes and assist you in putting the principles I shared in this video into action. So I want to just say this last thing about affirmations. Affirmations are like flowers. Think about it this way. If you were going to plant some flowers in a garden, you wouldn't just throw the flowers on top of the dirt. You wouldn't just put them on the surface. You would dig around, you put them deep in the soil, right? You'd implant them. And that's the way they go deep. When you work with your energy and you then let those affirmations and you feel the energy, that's like you're taking those flowers and bringing them deeply into the soil. So what is your favorite affirmation? When do you use them? How many? How many times a day? What's too much? What's too little? Well, use them when you need them. When you hear yourself being negative, that's when you bring in an affirmation. Use them as a precursor. When you first wake up in the morning, think of it one affirmation. I recommend from one to three affirmations. If you're going to write them down or if you're going to repeat them during the day, post them around your house. Have them on a timer on your computer or on your phone. Read them when you first wake up in the morning. Have them on your bathroom mirror and let yourself feel the truth of them. The truth of the bigger, greater, larger part of you may not just be you and you may not living it, but the grander part of you is. So one to three affirmations will do the trick. Repeat them as often as you can. The more you do it, the better the result. So besides all of the other ways that I talked about using affirmations, Nikola Tesla had a way of really explaining. He had a 369 method. So I'm going to share with you two aspects of this 369 Tesla method. The first way to do it is take one affirmation and write it three different times a day. First in the morning, you're going to write it out three times. Mid afternoon, you're going to write it out six times. And in the evening, you're going to write it out nine times, three, six, nine. So pick something that's not too much. It might be, I am wealth or I am abundant, right? So you take a piece of paper, write that out three times in the morning. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. Then midway through the day, maybe around noonish, you do the nether six. I am abundant. But here's the thing. You're writing it out and you're feeling it. You're getting into it. You're, it's a moment in time for you to connect with the truth of that affirmation. We want to feel that, right? And then at night, nine times, three, six, nine, write one of them down. So that's one aspect of Nikola Tesla's three, six, nine. So the other aspect of the three, six, nine from Nikola Tesla is you take three affirmations, you state them to yourself or out loud six times a day, and for nine seconds. So it's three affirmations such as, I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. You say that either out loud or to yourself six different times during the day. And to say it, you want to take at least nine seconds. Three, six, nine. Three affirmations, six times a day, nine to 17 seconds. You can go even go 68 seconds if you want to really feel the truth of it. Say it with me. I am wealth. I am abundance. I am joy. All right, so write down your favorite affirmation in the chat. You know why? Because it helps others that are like, I don't have affirmations. If you have one that works for you, share it because it's going to help everybody in this community. And you know what? When you type it out, when you write it out, it actually helps you. The more you write something out, the more you see it as real, whether it's in a comment, whether it's writing it on a, a, a sticky pad, when you write something out, it becomes real in the physical world. So write out in the comments, what is your favorite affirmation or affirmations? Some of you may have years of experience with affirmations and by your comments can really help others that are new to the community or even new to affirmations learn some things from you. So thank you for contributing.
Peace.